Hi guys, it's Keenan, and um, I just got a better recording program that allows me to record videos that are a bit longer than 30 seconds long, and by a bit I mean a lot, and so I decided to give you a tour of my Minecraft world that you guys got a brief view on the other day in my channel introduction. So this is my world. Um, I've worked on this world for the past month or so. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. I must say it's probably one of the best worlds I've made so far. And uh, yeah, so let's jump right in. So this is my main house. This is the very first house I built. It started out half the size and I expanded it. Mm. Turned it into my storage room slash hub to all my other rooms until I ran out of space, obviously. I decided to try to make it a storage room too, which didn't really work because the chests all filled up and everything, so I had to come up with something a little different, which I did out there. I'll show you that in a second. But basically this is the hub to my bedroom here where I have my two dogs Ace over here and Spade in there. And uh, this is my mob system in the middle here. Uh, the mobs go up and there's a separating thing up there and they drop down and yada yada yada. I'll show that I'll show you that and get into uh, closer detail in a bit. But for now, I'll show you. Uh, I'll probably start with this room here. This is my potion, my potion room, and my enchantment room. And this design is probably pretty uh, familiar to a lot of you. This design here. Uh, basically, stand here. Low level enchantments. Stand here. Bookshelves come down. High level enchantments. And so. Uh, let's see, this is my potion room, and you walk up here, these pistons all come out and keep you in place while you do some brewing. I've got all the ingredients in these chests here, which are easily accessible. Um, I have some decorations here, glowstone, nether wart, and stuff. Um, down here, I have a bathroom. Just kind of something I did while I was bored. Um, here I have my wheat farm, which is pretty tiny right now, actually. I'm going to have to make this a lot bigger later. But uh, I'll do that later, yeah. Uh, down here is my mine shaft, which I'm not actually going to go to right now. goes a lot deeper than that, by the way. Um, my nether portal, too. Um, uh, let me think. Oh, yeah. And this one here is my mushroom farm. Um, I made a couple other mushroom farms, too, because this one was kind of slow, but... Um, the other ones are actually... I'm thinking a little bit slower than those ones down there. Um, so yeah, this is, that's the, uh, I guess that's it for my house. Let's so move outside here. So yeah, this is the mob system that I was talking about. Oh, there's a spider walking up, clogging up the system. Now I'm in creative mode right now. Because this is uh, the week 49 snapshot. And um, apparently blocks, block mechanics aren't as good in creative mode as they are in survival. Um, so yeah, this is my mob system. Spiders. Um, spiders are separated here at this little junction where the spiders go directly across and continue over there. And then they drop and die down there somewhere. While the taller mobs, they fall down into here, they fall all the way down, uh, land on a fence post that I'm pretty sure is a 21 and a half block drop, 
and then drops into here, where I have my two-mode mob system. Right now it's an EXP mode, and once I kill off all these guys here, I'll kill off everyone here. This might take a while, but uh, anyway, while I'm doing this, um, so yeah, this world, I'm pretty proud of. Uh, like I said, I've been working on it for about a month, and I've been inspired. I, I've started making videos on this world now because um, I've seen one of Etho's latest, Etho's Lab's latest episodes, and uh, he talks about uh, how he started his LP, and uh, that inspired me to start one. So I just so here I am now making YouTube videos. Hopefully I'll hopefully I'll get some subscribers. Um, I'm not asking for too much. I mean, like uh, maybe t 10, 20 subscribers would make me happy. I mean, I'm not expecting much from this, but um, if I if I get a bunch, then wow, that'd be awesome. But um. Yeah, anyway, on with the, uh, tour now that all those mobs are dead. Um, that reminds me, I, um, there's a second mode to this. You flick this lever down. Flick this lever down. This iron bar retracts, and the floor underneath here goes away, pulls away, making this drop two blocks, um, more, which is enough to kill all the mobs that drop down here, so I can just basically grab all their loops, close the door up here and grab all their loot. So the door up there closes, and we kill off all the mobs. Alrighty, um, and then so can we track that? So now the now the drop is two blocks more, and the, this comes here so that when mobs are falling, they can't see you and skeletons don't shoot and stuff. And then if you want to change it back, you just flick the lever and it's back to an experience farm again. So, yep. I think I'm just going to set it now to my uh, drop system. And then I'll let them all fall in there and die. So yeah, they should be all dead. Sometimes one might occasionally survive because they don't take fall damage from the fence drop. Um. Over here is my slime farm. I think I see a slime down there. But uh, that hauls in a decent amount of slimes. Uh, I've got quite a few slime balls already. Um, here is my cow pen, where I go and breed cows and then later slaughter some. Uh, here is my pig pen, which for some reason has a chicken in it. I'm not sure why. There's chickens down there. Got sheep in here. Which eat the grass and regrow their wool. And up here are my other mushroom farms that I that I was talking about. Like I said, they don't haul in a very big amount of mushrooms, but I think I've only harvested one from here. Yeah, about one or two mushrooms from there. In here is my reed farm. I don't really need that anymore except for really making speed potions but um yeah that's I guess that's it for all the uh, mob stuff here all the animals in the room. So we'll move on to the storage room um so here's my storage room uh, my obviously this first layer this first floor here is for storage purposes and then um I was hoping I could get you guys's um opinions and ideas and stuff on what I should do for a second floor or should I just leave it as is? Should I just leave this with just one floor and not put anything on top? Um, so out here I was planning on making like a tree farm here, bigger wheat farm over there, maybe reed farm there, I don't know, something like that. Um, again, ideas would be nice. Um, well, um, I guess, uh, 
I move on to the nether, but before I do, there's, um, way out there, there's a desert, which I go to to collect all my sand and sandstone and stuff. And there, I found a uh, mine shaft out there with two cave spider spawners at the same level, lined up perfectly, eight blocks apart from each other. And so it's pretty, it's, uh, it's completely unfinished though. Like, I don't really feel like going over there to show you something that's totally unfinished and it doesn't work or anything. So I'm just going to skip that and move on to the nether. So I'll hop down here and hop into the nether portal. So I haven't really done much in the nether. Uh, say about maybe three, four things. Well, I'm starting a fourth. It's work in progress, like I said. I find it hard to finish things. I've all, I always start something with an interest and then I lose it really quickly, but... Um, so yeah, this is the thing that I was talking about that I lost interest in. Um, basically my nether portal spawned in a big room here. It's not a wide open area like the rest of the nether is. It's just a big room. And, um... I've never had a single gas spawn in here. And so yeah, I'm pretty gas safe in here, so I can build some pretty good stuff in here without it being without worrying about it getting destroyed. And so what I've done here is right over there where that block of glass is, um, and going up into the ceiling there, is a zombie pigman uh mob system kind of. So I've got three layers on it right now, I think. One, two, yeah, three layers on it. And uh, the water came from when you could harvest blocks of ice in Minecraft 1.0.0. Um, with silk touch. So uh, one is all the way up at 24 layers above here. And the second one I think is 20, and this one here is only four. So. Obviously, they're not going to die from the four block drop, so I'm going to inherit a crushing system into here. So I can kill off any survivors from the drops, from the drop. And, um, I thought I'd, I thought of doing this because they, uh, nerfed golden apple recipes and I, in one of the, uh, recent snapshots that came out. And, uh, up here, so, well, yeah, that adds on to why I, there's a whole bunch of half slabs all over the place. Since mobs can't spawn in half slabs, I decided to make that system a bit more efficient by half slabbing out the area and stopping zombie pigmen from spawning in this room. So the only place they can spawn in this area is up in the mob system. So I should hopefully get lots of zombie pigment up there. And here is my nether wart farm. I actually just harv harvested uh, nether wart before I started this video. Um, so basically, here's the harvest button, which there's two regular pistons in behind these blocks here. They push the blocks down. And they and these blocks block off the light of the torches, which then causes all these blocks in here to update. And since this is underneath a natural vein of glowstone, with that weird um, netherwort bug that uh, there's a few videos on YouTube on, um, all these netherwort automatically pop out, and I can pick them all up and everything and. We, and then I uh, push this button here, the lights on button, and turns the lights back on, and I can replant all the nether wart and bring it back, bring it back home. And so that's it for this big room here. I'm gonna head over here to where you see the nether brick. And I'm gonna hop in my minecart, and we're gonna take a little trip down to my blaze farm. 
so while um well, this is a pretty long ride um so yeah um i'm hoping that i'll um uh, hopefully i'll get some ideas from you guys on what i can do not only in like the overworld and stuff like that but here in the nether too cuz i honestly don't really know what i want to do here in the overworld i mean i don't want any ideas that are like real like completely ridiculous like i don't know something huge that would take like days and days and to build and stuff but maybe some small project that would be fun but like not too easy but challenging like fun it's fun to do and so um Anyway, here is the uh, blaze farm. I used Ethos Labs design for this blaze farm. Um, followed his tutorial on how to build it, and so this is the outcome. Uh, so they spawn, they fall down into this chamber here, and they get crushed and everything. And then they're when they when these pistons retract, they're all one hit and everything. And then I can whack them dead, get their XP, their blaze rods and stuff, and reset the whole system. And I, this is the on-off switch for blaze spawning. Right now they're off because the lava's pouring down. But yeah, that's the um, that's the blaze farm, and that's basically gonna end the tour here. So I'll take the minecart ride back. And I uh, guess I'll see you back in the overworld. Okay guys, so I'm back in the overworld, and back in my house, and I guess I'm going to end the tour of my world here. Um, if you guys have any ideas for me, like uh, what I can build or something like that in this world, um, I'd really appreciate ideas, and um, I'd... Uh, uh, one thing I'd appreciate more than that is um, if you guys would subscribe to me, maybe, and um, maybe tell other people about my channel, other Minecraft fans about my channel, maybe, and um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I don't know, maybe I can do an LP too, if you guys want me to. If I do an LP, would you like me to start my LP in a brand new world completely from scratch or do you want me to continue an LP from the world I have here? Um, I honestly don't know what I'd rather do. I always like starting a new world. Always fun to um, explore the new terrain and everything. Get mm, build with the terrain. I find that's lots of fun building with terrain and stuff. But um, it'd also be nice to start from here because I've spent so much time on this world and um, I'd like to show you guys like uh, how like how I um, build onto things and how like how I add to stuff and stuff like that. So um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys want to see. If you guys want to see an LP starting from a new world or from this world here, but um, I guess that's it for today. Um, hopefully I'll see you in a day or two. Thanks for watching.
rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.